Magic Input for Patterns. Magic Input is the fastest way to add patterns to your Stash Hub catalog. It works in much the same way as Magic Input for Fabrics. So if you're already familiar with the process for fabrics, then you'll know exactly what to do here. Tap on the plus button and then the top option is Magic Input. So tap on Magic Input. There's options to add Magic Input via URL or via text. For the demonstration here, I'm going to be showing via URL. So if you head to the web listing of a particular pattern that you want to add to your stash, so this is the Sophia dress, and then you can copy the URL, head back to Stash Hub, paste that URL into the box, and then this is optional, but this allows you to select the pattern format. So for me, I prefer PDF pattern, so I'm going to put PDF in there and then press submit. And then the magic input will do its work to extract the info from the web listing and put it into all the correct boxes on your Stash Hub record. So here are the images. So you can select which images you want. And we've also added categories for the different images. Press and hold to select the images you want to move. This is fabric requirements in metrics. So I'm gonna move that into charts. And then we've also got fabric requirements in yards and inches. So I'm going to move that in there as well. And then we've got line drawing. So I'm going to drag the line drawing in there. And then let's choose what images. So I'm going to deselect those, have both. And then a front view, back view, and another view like that. Maybe I'll have this one because that's in the picture of both. So you can have four images in each section, then press done and it will add those images to your record. So you can view the images here and if you wanted to reorder them, say I liked this version, I could press and hold drag that to the top and now because that's the first one in the list that's going to be the image that shows up on the thumbnail when we go back to our stash so let's say i wanted to change it back to this one so let's head back into that record and you can also tap to open the images and scroll through if you want to see them larger you also have the option to change which category an image is in if you wanted to update existing records or you made a mistake during the process. So if we tapped line drawing, that image would be moved into the line drawing sections and then we can just tap on it and then move it back into photos if we wanted to. You can add your attachment here if you wanted to attach your PDF once you've bought the pattern. And it adds your description, the garment type, size range. You can see here all the different options of fabric type and then you can add in the requirements and we've changed this table so you can label it with different views so if we go back to the line drawing here you can see that there's either a tiered version or a non-tiered version so obviously the tiered version is going to have bigger fabric requirements so we can add those separately into the boxes in this fabric requirement table uh, in our in our custom sizes and different widths as well so we can also add the location if we've got a particular place to store it. And since this is a PDF, we can tick off whether we've printed it or not. So there we go. That is your pattern added to Stash Hub via Magic Input. And you can go through and edit any of the information that you need to. So as you can see, it's a really speedy way to get your patterns uploaded to your stash. Hope this helps.